in this video we're going to be looking at a, a more advanced option for you to manage your system all the things all the advanced tools that you used to have they are they are hidden in the settings area so let's go to the settings and uh, this one will particularly restart your system so if you're not ready to restart your system don't uh, look through it if you go to the general and uh, go to the last option at the bottom that says uh, advanced startup start up from a device or disk uh, change windows startup settings or restore windows from a system image so let's click on restart it's gonna take some time then it's gonna present us with few uh, options so let's wait for all these options you can turn off your PC you can uh, troubleshoot if you don't want to do anything just exit and continue to Windows 8 but we want to troubleshoot a problem so if you click on troubleshoot you can refresh your PC which we look at we can reset your PC which we also look at but this is the advanced option that we want to look at now so we have five options uh, the system restore which is restore your system from a restore point remember the restore point we used to use then you can recover from a system image which you've already uh, saved and automatic repair we have this one in Vista and Windows 7 as well that is going to do some automatically check and see if some, anything is wrong with your uh, startup and files and stuff and repair them for you automatically you can use the command prompt to um, to do some advanced uh, troubleshooting but this is the particular one to look at which is the startup settings so remember uh, if you launch Windows 8 I mean if you launch any Windows in the past and you press the F8 key you get all the advanced uh, startup options such as uh, boot to you can boot to uh, uh, you can boot to safe mode you can ha you have the ad uh, option to save mode uh, safe mode with networking you have how to uh, use the last configuration settings that worked all those things remember yeah so if you click on the startup settings you have uh, this restart to change windows option such as so if you click on restart from here it will give you the option of the advanced startup settings that uh, we used to have so restart to change windows options such as enable low resolution video mode enable debugging mode enable boot login enable safe mode i'm going to click on restart now even though i'm using this within the vm way as you can see there um because um, i wasn't sure if it's going to give me the option and it did so press a number to choose from the options below so i can press one to enable debugging two uh four for save mode f10 for more option let's try f10 uh, okay f i'm using a mac so okay we have mm, more option f10 all right so what i'll do now is i'll key option four or i'll key option four and i will see how it starts me in the safe mode actually this is the first time i'm i'm using this particular option so oh now it's boot us windows 8 actually boots very fast it's very very fast uh, operating system that was a quick boot so let's see what the safe mode looks like window can access vmware well it makes sense i'm using it on vmware uh, cancel could not connect uh, all the network drives that's fine so this is how your safe mode works uh, this is what it looks like and uh, if i press to go to the wow so we still have our um, start screen in the desktop mode i'm actually surprised i wasn't expecting that this is the desktop and this is the window start um, as you can see the resolution is low now so we get uh, uh, the apps they now bigger and we have uh, less rows of apps so let's try and open one application they probably will not open because of the resolution because of the low resolution uh, this app can't open uh, all apps can be opened using the built-in uh, signing with a different account try again okay let's try and open Google search using the built-in administrator so they're telling you you can't use the built-in administrator to open any app in the safe mode you have to use uh, another account so 
whatever that means okay in the corner here settings the internet is not available we still have all our PC settings and stuff right what else do I want to look at no app can be opened so um, yeah this is how the safe mode works and uh, I'll see you in the next video thank you